Okay, so today we're learning about one-dimensional kinematics, and uh, I we have a couple of uh, equations for you to find out. So the first equation, uh, let's say that a bike accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 7.1 meters per second over a distance of 34.4 meters. So we want to determine the acceleration of the bike. Yes, you want to find the acceleration, yep. So acceleration will equal A. So V V to the second final equals V to the second initial plus 2A DT. So basically this means that your, um, that the velocity squared, the final velocity squared will equal the initial velocity squared plus uh, 2 times the acceleration times uh, the distance times the time. So now we just have to substitute in our numbers. 50.41 equals... Oh. Uh, oh. So here we have the uh, here we have the uh, velocity of the final, which is 7.1. So you want to square that number, which equals 50.41. And so now 50.41 equals 2a times 35.4. Because and we got 35.4 because uh, he was traveling over a distance of 35.4 meters. So now we need to find the change in velocity. So we take the change in velocity over time. And to find time, we took. So, to, in order to find this, we need to subtract 35.4 from both sides, so we take uh, 50.41 equals 2a plus 35.4, and then we subtract 35.4 from 35.4, and then subtract it from 50.41 or yeah, 50 to get 15.01 over 2, which equals 2a over 2. That's how we find a, which equals 7. Equal, yeah, 7.505, oh yes. And so, now to find the time, we have to take V final, as Noel's run, which equals V initial plus 2. Or 2, I mean. And so now here we plug in the numbers, so V final, which is 7.1 equals 0 plus 2 times 7.505. And so now that means that uh, 7.1 equals 15.01. So here, so here we made a mistake and we uh, wrote the wrong formula. It's really supposed to be V final equals V initial plus A T, which is acceleration times time. So here we take 7.1 equals 0 plus 7.505 plus t, or times t. So this equals 7.1 plus, or 7 point, or yeah, 7.1 equals 7.505 times t, divided by 7.505 to both sides. Which will get an answer of 
point nine four point nine four six. So yeah. So therefore, now that we have time, which is point nine four six, we are now able to find the acceleration. So we'll take the change in velocity, which is seven point one over point nine four six. Which equals seven point five zero five, which means that the uh, which means that the acceleration equals seven point five zero five.